The bad news, the next gen version of The Witcher 3, the one released on PlayStation 5 and Series X and S, still has some problems. The good news, you're going to be able to play Dead Island 2 sooner than you expected. Let's start with Witcher, because CD Projekt Red has confirmed that it is now working on multiple patches following the release of patch 4.01. One of the glaring issues plaguing the game is bad performance on next gen consoles, with players reporting a noticeable decrease in frame rate while in performance mode, a decrease that's especially especially noticeable in areas like Novigrad. Patch 4.01 was released earlier this month for next-gen consoles and PC and introduced a variety of improvements, mainly focusing on overall stability and performance, while also adding a new performance mode for ray trace global illumination and more. Alongside some general system issues the developer is looking into, it also explained that the battle preparations quest that was meant to be fixed with the last patch still isn't resolved. CDPR said, quote, We are aware that some players who experienced an issue where it could be impossible to interact with Avalok before patch 4.01 may now experience an issue where there are no dialogue options that can progress the quest after the fix. We're working on the underlying cause and steps to reproduce it. And it turns out Witcher isn't the only game with update issues. Earlier this month, Ubisoft announced it was delaying the 11th season of The Division 2 because of a localization problem. Last week, the developer provided another statement that confirmed a system error affected its ability to update the game. The dev explained that it would extend the previous season's activities due to the delay, but can't because of the current situation as it's quote, unable to make server or client side updates until the build generation system is restored. And speaking of being restored, my faith in Dead Island 2 is stronger than ever. The release date for the game is changing once again, but for the first time, it's not a delay. Instead, publisher Deep Silver has announced that the action RPG will launch one week earlier on April 21st, 2023. To reinforce this date, Deep Silver tweeted that Dead Island 2 has gone gold as well. Back in November, the zombie game set in Los Angeles was pushed back 12 weeks from February to April 28th. So this rearrangement helps shorten that delay. That said, it's been a rocky development cycle for the game. Dead Island 2 was originally unveiled at E3 2014 as part of the Sony press conference. Since then, the game has seen multiple delays and even switched studio hands a couple times. On a scale of 1 to 10, let me know in the comments where your hype levels are at for Dead Island 2. We'll see you tomorrow.